Oh, look at the plane. This video is not sponsored by... Uh, I don't know. Jet Blue. Jet Blue. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it is. What is up, fam? It's Bravo. Welcome to the channel. Over 90% of you are new to the channel, watching the content. Welcome. I'm Bravo. This is Mrs. Bravo. And we're a couple, and we ride these awesome Jixers. And we're going to do a little duck hunting, but we're going to talk a little bit, too. Oh yeah, look at that. Wifey's got the horns on the helmet. You're a devil. She's a devil. Alright. So, let's talk about buying bikes on Marketplace. What's up, buddy? So, buying a bike on Marketplace, what what do you know? Like, you're not getting a warranty. You don't know all the work that's been done on the bike. So what are you, what are you looking for? Maybe, maybe you're a new rider. And I bring this up because I've seen and heard about things recently in our area, in the Albany, New York, upstate New York area. And... Man, <laughs> like one guy just did a deal, ended up on a leader bike. Oh, what do we got going on? Gas? Shit. That, uh, that sucks. I know, the gas station's literally right there. Um, all right, so. Bro gets a leader bike from a 600, and that's kind of irrelevant, right? But what happened is, the reason I, I bring up the leader bike, I'm in the same chat, and he had 168 miles an hour. Okay. Brand, like, new to him bike, you was 09. 09. I think it got an oil change, but it, it obviously didn't get a once over, and the front sprocket fucking came off. I think it was only, I don't know, 60, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, something like that. Locked the fucking tire up, and he just rode it out down the road so there was that incident and then another bike following you sure so this other bike Again, older bike. I mean, half of the bikes on the road are 13 years old or older. So, I'm just giving you an idea. I mean, year, whatever. But it was a marketplace deal and had a new front tire. Well, I fixed a few things on the bikes. And I fixed a couple of things. The rear brake light wasn't working. The rear directionals weren't working. Uh, there was an issue with the clutch. That new clutch had been put in. Um, so I just I fixed a few things and I looked the bike over. I had the front of float the front end. 
So took care of all that and I take it for a, a test ride. Going down the road, I'm doing 30. And felt good. Felt true, straight. And I hit the brakes, the front brakes. Not good at all. I had such a major pulsation. It wasn't even funny. Like, no joke. So I think what happened is whoever put that, that front tire on pinched the rotor, one of the rotors, in the tire machine. So if you've ever changed tires, you know that that can happen. And it's not safe. I mean, 70% of your momentum is the braking power. 70% of your braking power comes from the front brake. So that's, uh, that's not working. You have engine brake and rear brake. And those parts are not cheap. You know, two, two um, rotors and two sets of pads. May as well do three sets of pads because you know that rear, for the time the bike had been ridden, you know that rear brake's getting used like crazy. So that's probably shot, worn out at least, uh, on the pads. And... You're looking at 600 bucks. Pretty much best case scenario, 600 bucks. Uh, those are not parts that I would concede on doing some bullshit uh, Amazon purchase on. You know, that's the front end, that's braking, and to have a catastrophic failure on one of those parts is going to be horrible, terrible, and awful. Who knows what the fuck would happen. But, um, so what do you look for on a bike from Marketplace? Look, check the bike out, right? Look at, look at the profile of the individual posting the bike, obviously. If you're not doing that, definitely do that. There may be some clues there, right? It's like, little breadcrumb trail so follow it and then you can ask the questions who did the work who did this who did that oh it has a fucking chain and sprocket all right great maybe you don't ride that bike maybe you don't fucking you know hand four or five grand over to whoever basically a stranger trust that stranger hop on the bike and you know drive 30 miles to your house at 120 miles an hour like maybe don't do that run a trailer get a ramp some tie downs buddy with a truck trailer the bike home or all the bike home if you're going to buy it and go through it like look the bike over thoroughly check all of the torque settings Yo, what's up, bro? Chillin', man. I'm out on the bike right now. I'm on uh, I-90. Uh, like minutes? Are you there? All right, bro. All right, I'll come see you. Yeah, All right, yeah, peace. Yeah. Sorry, I had to take a call. Um, right, you got to check all these torques. You got it. Like anything that's been touched on the bike, you should go through it. You should just plan on three, four hours with a, a different color paint pen. Get yellow or red or whatever. And just go through, torque everything. Check it and mark it so you know that you're good.
So the biggest thing about buying a bike on Marketplace is you gotta know what you're getting into. And you're not getting a warranty with the bike. You should be saving a little bit of money from what you'd pay for a comparable bike at the dealer. And just be thorough, take your time. You may not, you know, don't, don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't let your emotions get the best of you on the purchase where you think, I have to get this bike or I'll never fucking, you know, I'll never find the perfect bike. This is the perfect bike. It's got to be this bike. You know, there's a bunch of other stuff you got to look out for. Time codes or uh, date code, not time code, but date code. Pretty sure that cop just checked you out. Yo, do you...